um, we have finished all the way up to problem 18 uh, let's continue uh, maybe we can we can um, do one or two problems I don't know how, how easy or difficult the problems are going to be so let's let's maybe do one or two and, and see if we have time um, if it's more than an hour uh, then we will uh, we, we will stop before the hour okay so the first problem is counting Sundays so that's this is problem number 19 okay. and let's create a new notebook we'll call it problem 19 and let's say this is problem 19 and it's called counting Sundays all right and what is the problem what is the problem you are given the following information but you may prefer to do some research for yourself okay the 1st of Jan 1990 was a Monday okay if you say so 30 days has September April June and November all the rest have 31 save Feb alone which has 28 days rain or shine this seems to suggest that all the others might have different numbers of days depending upon whether it's raining or shining but never mind and on leap years, 29. Okay. A leap year occurs on every year, evenly divisible by 4, but not on centuries, unless it is divisible by 400. So, okay, so that's, um, I think that's general knowledge, I would say. How many Sundays? fell on the first of the month during the 20th century which is the first of jan 1901 to the 31st of december 2020 okay let's let's think about this problem so basically when i was younger i would have to do this by creating two arrays uh, something like uh, months normal and then I would uh, put in the number of days so Jan has 31 days Feb has 28 days uh, March has 31 days and so on and then I would also create another thing which would say months leap leap and I would put a 29 over here and then I would uh, start with a uh, for I in blah 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 oh I'll do while what am I doing while true and I would uh, check that the current date is less than 31st December uh, 2000 like that and uh, if not if so if not then I will break otherwise I will add 7 so I will have a current Day equals um, zero, and then I will add. So, first uh, Jan nineteen ninety is a Monday, right? So we know that six days from now, which is. Um, 7th Jan 
1990 is going to be a let's check it, it's going to be a Sunday so that's the first Sunday so I would start with that and then I would keep on adding the number of days so I would say uh, the current year year is 1990 and 1900 uh, the current month is one okay. and the current day is current day is that current day is I will call it one so that's the uh, as the first Jan um, first Jan 1990 and I know that this is a Monday so if I add 6 to it so it becomes 7 then that is the first Sunday and I will continue adding adding to that okay so that's and uh, current day plus equal 7 plus equal 7 and um, if if uh, is three. so this this one is it uh, leap here leap equals so it is divisible by 4 that's correct but not a century so this is a century so it's not a leap year uh, unless it is divisible by 400 it is not divisible by 400 so it is not a leap year now month is ticked month ticked is going to be equal to um, if is leap else normal okay and then 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 you continue over here so that that's the that's the typical way of doing this but since since we are in Python we are not going to do that so what are we going to do so um, what we will do is we will use Python's date time function, and the reason is because practically all all of um, modern programming languages actually come with date time functionality. So we don't have to do all the math. We can say uh, from date time import date time as dt and I will also include time delta import as theta okay and um, let's let's get a few reference reference functions that we need over here so for example that's a that's a date time object okay um, we can get the um, current uh, day so uh, right now um, it's 2021 12 14 so it's December 12th and that's that's the time it's uh, 2028 14 okay in uh, but you can actually get the day so as you can see it's the fourth so today is the fourth and you can also get the day of the week and i don't know how to get the day of the week um, python date time day of week okay weekday so dt dot now dot day like that oh there you go 
So Monday is a zero. Today is a Saturday. Saturday is a five, like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sunday is a six. Okay. So we want so weekday and we want to see if it is a Sunday. So whether weekday is six uh, is six like that. And if this is true, then we take that particular date in. Uh, we need to start on the first of Jan. So I think this is how you do it. Uh, let's check. 1901 uh, the month is one and the so that's 1901 one one and if we che check the weekday weekday we will see that it is one and okay the first of Jan 1990. It's not 1990, 1990, like that. So that was a Monday, and um, it is in fact a Monday according to this weekday calculation. We want to get to the uh, first Sunday, which happens to be it should be 6. Okay, so if we Oh, the seventh. Sorry, my bad. So that's that's the first day we want to consider because that is a uh, that is a Sunday, and every time we increase this, plus t down days equal seven. Okay, so that's 14, and this should also be a uh, Sunday. Uh, dot weekday. Like that, and that should also be a Sunday. So as we add um, seven days to it, we will keep on getting Sundays, and we can find what weekday it is. So how do we write a program? So uh, we have to write a loop. Let's, let's look at the first few days, okay? Uh, let's start with this start day. It equals that. Oh. That, that's the start date. And let's print. Um, Spring from time year month date okay and uh, current date plus equals t delta uh, days equals 7 okay so what we see is that um, we, we have a number of dates that, that we go through so, uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we, we will create a break condition if current date is greater than or equal to um, we have to create a last date um, last date would be 2001 
Jan first, so it, it has to be less than that. If current date is greater than equal to last date, okay, then break. Okay, so that's 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 that. Uh, it it is this this we will at some point convert it into a while true condition, but uh, not at the moment. There should also be a way of writing the writing this instead of using a dictionary. Is this weekday? Okay, I don't, I don't want this. Python, Python, date, time, uh, format. So, um, I think it's person. Um, It's percent B or something like that. Percent B. We take it percent A and A. So all of these things are Sundays. Very cool. And um, I believe it's day. So one then you print that otherwise don't print that curved it okay so um, if we do one true instead of this follow while true Hmm. 1995, 1 1 was Sunday, and so on. So let's let's look at uh, and and the last day that it has counted is 2010 1. Is this something that we are counting? 2010 1. Yeah, that that's correct. October 1st is a Sunday. So now uh, n this equals zero and if this is the case um, and days this equals one okay and we will just look at n days and this and there are 173 such days hmm oh no Okay. Nine nine nineteen ninety four one is a Sunday. D T. 
is a Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So um, if this. Tricky people, tricky people. And last it, start it. Equals DT nineteen oh one. Okay. And current date is greater than or equal to start date. And the actual number is 171. Let's see. Okay, hmm, tricky, tricky people. Okay, so counting Sundays is, I think, something that we finished um, pretty fast. So let's let's try this factorial digit sum. Aha. I think it's one of those things that in Python it's really slow, uh, really easy. So let's say we do problem 20. Problem 20 and uh, something like this. And uh, this is the, the problem is this factorial digit sum. Okay. Let us solve this problem. So I believe math has you know, and the values are let's say we have ten factorial. That's that, and the digit sum is we have to convert it into string, and then we map map an int to that, and then we sum it, sum it, and the answer is twenty seven. What is this? Why is this the case? What the hell just happened? Okay, never mind. So that's that's the factorial of ten, and we want the factorial of hundred like that, and that's the answer. Six forty eight. Six forty eight. Okay. Another one solved pretty fast. So these two, hmm, pretty, pretty easy. What is this? Amicable numbers. Uh, we have to calculate the factors. Mm. Okay. I think this this deserves. What time is it? Eight forty-four. Okay. I think uh, this this deserves a new kernel. New notebook. Python three. This is problem twenty-one. I will. This is called this problem 21. 14 seconds before submitting more answers. Oh, interesting. Problem 21. Do they think that people cheat over here? I don't know. Oh, let me write down the number, the problem first, and then 
we can solve this. Okay, so that's that's the problem. Let's let's take a look at the problem. Let d n be defined. Yeah, I saw Let's dn be defined as a sum of proper divisors of n, number less than n, which divides evenly onto n. If dA is b and db is a, where a is not equal to b, then a and b are amicable number. A and b are an amicable pair, and each of a and b are called amicable numbers. Hmm. Okay. For example, the proper divisors of 220 are all of that, except all the way up to 220, okay. Therefore, D220 is 284. And the proper divisors of 284 are that. So D that is equal to this. Evaluate the sum of all the amicable numbers under 10,000. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. I think the the thing to remember over here is that if we calculate one, the factors of one of the numbers, then There's no need to calculate the factors of the other numbers. So, uh, but I, I want to see what the factors all the way up to 10 are because probably we don't have to find whether they're amicable numbers up to 10. So, let's say 10, the factors are. 1 is a factor, yeah, we need to take 1, 2 is a factor, 5 is a factor, and that is it, 4 is not a factor, five. yeah, okay, and the sum of these things are 8, okay, and 8 is... 1 is a factor, 2 is a factor, 4 is a factor, and that's it, and 7, so that's, that's 4, okay. okay, so I frankly don't see a, a good way of solving this off the top of my head, we just need to look through everything, but we are going to keep a, keep a record, because when we are finding the factors of one number, we will typically also find the num uh, factors of another number. So uh, when we go to the other number, we, we shouldn't calculate that, that particular number. So uh, the total numbers um, become, the total number of factors that we need to calculate become less than, uh, less and less. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, are prime numbers, so we don't need to worry about those to begin with. 4, four the factors are 1 and 2, happens to be 3, so we don't have to worry about 4. 5 is a prime number, we don't have to worry about this. 6, uh, 1, 2, 3 is 6. It's itself so yeah seven is a prime number eight is one two four one two four is six so we, we don't care about it okay do we care about nine 
9 is 1 and 3 and that's it we don't care about 9 so let, let's let's forget about these these numbers so for okay so find factors factors for the number n n for i in range one to n this one okay this is just for simple rules nothing and and i if i percentage and is both zero then then we do this and uh, return factors okay so um, find factors of 220 wow what the hell just happened if we start with this Okay, that's very strange. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Come through this. Is one two four five blah 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 fifty five and a hundred and find find factor sums is the sum of this. I want to see if I we can still do that. Oh. N by two plus one and that and that. And twenty four, twenty four is that sum So we will just use this uh, function and we will loop through a set of numbers. Okay, so for i in 
range, let's say 1000, I should be able to find these, these, the, this pair. So let's start by saying that So if you've calculated the all factor sums, all factor sums is that, and yeah, I will not start with zero. I will start with ten because I know up to nine it should should not be a problem. Okay, so let's see. Find sums, sums i. If i in all factor sums. Okay, S is all factor sums that I right and then else. Sums like that. I else uh, S equals find factor sums. Find factor sums I. Okay, so this is just the S one. Okay, so the this is just the S one. I will update all factor sums. Over here equals S1 like that. So this is the first one and S2 is exactly the same except except that S1 this is S2, 2, and this i is going to be equal to S1, 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 and S1, S1, okay. Um, if S1 is not equal to S2, print i and s1 s1 okay let's uh, this problem oh. this one Oh, is equal to we don't see this two twenty. And twenty four. All factor sums. You 
do we have 220? So we do have that. Okay. Curiously, I'm getting the ones where they are the same. S2? Ah, there we go. I equals S2, which is 220 and 24 and 24 and 220. Okay. But we don't want this 28 and 496 because they are equal. A is not equal to B. And so that's that's one condition. And and A is not equal to B. So S one is not equal to S2. Okay. And I make a couple numbers. This should be a set. Okay. numbers dot update s1 and s2 So that, that's the makeable numbers and we can sum it, sum of the makeable numbers is 504, so that's like that. So now we want to see all the amicable numbers till that value. Okay. And 
these are two other makeable numbers. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if this is correct. Let's wait 15 seconds. Okay, we have solved the amicable numbers problem. Okay, so I think um, let's let's stop here today, and we will continue again uh, another day. So I will be uploading this to YouTube. If you like this content, please go oh it. What is this? Wow. Wait. Can we? Oh. We have to solve it first and then we can check it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I will go through this solution to see there are many, many. Okay, never mind. I will go through this. Anyway, uh, I will be uploading this to YouTube. If you like seeing content like this, please like and share. And um, yeah, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.